Based on the number of Twitter notifications and Facebook page comments I've received in the last few hours, I had a hunch that something big was going to happen tonight. And now the only question is, which of two conceivable things is it going to be? Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. Cold one here in New York City. You might hear the radiator in the background. You might hear the wind howling. It's uh, 15 degrees. Wind chill is bitter. Let's put it that way. And it looks like I picked the wrong night to have dinner with a friend. So a little bit. What time is it? A little after midnight right now. So I've gone over four and a half hours without spoilers from New York people. Thanks to the several of you who texted me to say, have you watched yet? Without telling me what happened. And uh, thanks to all of you in Chicago and uh, Dark Lord down in Alabama. What do you get this at 9.30 in the morning? I would say, no, I don't want to say hashtag blessed, that's just dumb. Mike and Claudia, as Alex pointed out, it is apt that our two co-champions, who have never even seen each other before today, are tied heading into final with uh, Randy having the potential to play spoiler 6,000. That's going to be an important number because she doesn't have half of those totals. So Mike and Claudia are going to have some options here, obviously, if they want to take Destiny into their own hands. 13-8. If you get it right, great. If you both get it right, we see if that unconfirmed rumor of a tiebreaker is true. Or you stand pat and you go for zero. Now, after the tiebreaker was instituted and tie games were eliminated, uh, someone made an argument that it might be feasible for someone tied here to wager uh, to go uh, one dollar better than Randy's to the third place player's total should the third place player double up. Randy doubles up, she's up twelve thousand, so that's gonna be seventeen nine or sorry, seventeen ninety nine for both of them. I don't know, I'll look into that tomorrow. Uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna need to just sleep after this, either way this thing goes. Randy, in third place, as I mentioned, she cannot catch Mike or Claudia if either of them wagers zero. She cannot catch Mike or Claudia if either of them wagers $17.99, so the hope that Randy has to have is that both of them go for $13,800. And in that case, she just leave herself with at least a dollar might as well do that, and uh, really not much else for me to analyze here. Um, I did know, or I had heard a rumor anyway, that something was going to happen this week, that uh, Alex and Johnny were talking about some notable event that happened during this week of taping. And uh, going through the This Week on Jeopardy page, I noticed that there's a space for a returning champion tomorrow, so I guess we're going to see a tiebreaker, which is pretty exciting. And now, I'm not even going to cut here. I'm just going to uh, play through Final Jeopardy, which state capitals. You know, it would be great if it's one of those uh, tricky clues that I uh, highlighted a few weeks ago in my fact primer on state capitals. And, wow, it looks like I did not... Uh, pause it where I thought I paused it. It went all the way to the end. So now I'm going to watch at four times speed. You can watch uh, Randy's $200 True Daily Double, which I guess, you know, if you want to trade off 800 bucks to say that once in your life, go for it. Although that $800 Daily Double was just begging for a uh, True Daily Double there in the second round. All right, we're almost done. I got time. It's just right. You're not looking. Where's he leave? Okay, come back. Yes, good. All right, where's he leave? Now, let's see if I get this. State capitals. That's the category for final today. And players, here is your clue. A 1957 event led to the creation of a national historic site in this city, signed into law by a president whose library is now there too. Thirty seconds. Good luck. Eisenhower. Oh, it was the event. Okay, what happened in 1957? 
Oh, it's Martin Luther King Day, so maybe civil rights? So civil rights would be a southern president. Not Obama, not George W. Bush. Well, maybe, maybe Austin. Little Rock. Oh, the Arkansas. Uh, segregation? Thank you first. This was a tough one. You guys struggled with this immensely. Let's see if you were able to come up with a correct response. You said, what is, you were going for Springfield, and that would have been incorrect. So, you risked and oh, lost no. everything. You're down to zero. Now let's go to Claudia. She had 13,800, was tied for the lead, and she wrote okay. down, what is Austin? No. That, too, oh, is incorrect. No, and what no. did it cost you? Everything. Now we come to Mike Drummond. The his thing is, Trebek has these wagers on his card, and he knows it's going to happen if he misses this. What is Atlanta? The president in question in the clue is Bill Clinton. Nice. The correct response is Little Rock, Arkansas. Let's see what Mike lost. 13,800. We have three players finishing with no money. And what that means, ladies and gentlemen, is that tomorrow we will have no returning champion. We will introduce three new players to Jeopardy. So, sorry folks, see you tomorrow. Wow, sorry folks. Well, I don't know what to say. That's, I, I really thought we might never see one of those. Obviously, there are situations where they could happen. I didn't foresee it happening here. Mike and Claudia, totally cool with those 13,000 hander wagers. Uh, Randy, should have saved a dollar. Could have won with one dollar. That would have been almost as notable, but... Man, is it is it irony or coincidence that after we have two returning champions today, we're going to have no returning champions tomorrow? I can't remember which it is. Is it ironic? No, nah, it's got to be irony. I don't know. Whatever. It's all too technical for me. <sighs> yeah, well, I guess that makes up for it for me personally. But, yeah, I guess uh, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> right here on the final wager.